迪士尼的卡通有让人有许许多多的梦幻跟许许多多美好的一个回忆。我们来讲到迪士尼的卡通《风中奇缘》了，《风中奇缘》里面讲到的就是印第安的公主保加康蒂，她救了英国探险家约翰史密斯，两个人坠入情网，结婚了，一个非常完美的结局。哎。在历史上真的有保加康蒂吗？还真的有哎、欸，而且也是个印第安的公主。那真的有约翰史密斯吗？有哎、欸，但两个人结局没有结婚，保加康蒂嫁给了另外一个人，而且更重要，约翰史密斯在真实的世界当中，他也不是探险家。那怎么跟迪士尼的这个动画完全不一样呢？这是迪士尼动画电影的浪漫剧情，但事实上却是。旧人和陷入爱河的内容纯属虚构，不过人物却是真有其人。保加康蒂本名为马托阿卡，印第安酋长的女儿，是个十一岁的女孩。保加康蒂是她的外号。Pocahontas meant mischievous girl or playful one, suggesting she was kind of trouble. 约翰史密斯也不是探险家，而是维吉尼亚理事会主席，已经二十七岁了。拯救故事是他写书夸树的。For a person who, in his memoirs, had just about every woman in the world falling in love with him, he never mentioned that Pocahontas did, and、um, she certainly was much too young. 约翰史密斯也没有留在维吉尼亚，因为他在火药爆炸中受伤，回到英格兰治疗，再也没有踏上美国领土。而英国人与美国原住民的战争依旧持续。这时，英国士兵绑架了保加康蒂，勒索赎金。在将近一年的囚禁期间，保加康蒂却有了戏剧性的变化。She learned very good English. She learned to read and write, and she became a Christian. So she did become baptized in the Episcopal Church, and for all intents and purposes, became an Englishwoman. She even adopted a new Christian name, that being Rebecca. 在保加康蒂的父亲释放几名英国人质之后，保加康蒂重获自由，她也真的嫁给了英国人。To the health of the English people and the people of my wife。但不是约翰史密斯，而是年长他十岁的约翰罗夫，一名官夫。This wedding marks eight years of peace between the Powhatan Indians and the Virginia English. Historians have called it the Peace of Pocahontas. 两人很快的就生了儿子，却不像迪士尼剧情般留在维吉尼亚州度过余生，而是在结婚两年后，带着儿子搭船到英国。因为约翰罗夫是位地主，想把种植的烟草运到英国兜售。此时，约翰史密斯再次出现了，他为了帮保加康蒂夫妇卖烟草，写了一封信给安妮女王。颂扬保加康蒂是一位公主，还首次提到了拯救她的故事。Pocahontas, dressed in Elizabethan style English finery, gets to attend a play and a dance at Whitehall Palace, and gets introduced to King James and Queen Anne, and ends up being celebrated in England as a symbol of how English the Indians can become. 一夜之间，保加康蒂成了英国名人。九个月后，一家三口搭船要返回美国，但这位印第安公主却再也没有机会回到家乡。They were still on the Thames River. They have to pull over and let them off because she's so gravely ill, and she died a few hours later. She was only 22 years old. 究竟是得了肺炎、天花还是其他传染病，至今没有答案。他的葬礼在英国格雷夫森德举行，据说坟墓是在教堂圣坛之下。不过教堂在百年后毁于一场大火，因此确切的埋葬地点不明，但留有一尊与真人大小一样的雕像。Instead of seeing Pocahontas as an Indian princess, we should see her as exactly what she was—a diplomat with an incredibly important role between two very different peoples. 他的独生子留在英国受教育，后来也返回美国维吉尼亚。而保加康蒂在艺术家笔下被描绘成二三十岁的黑发美女。
。纵然事实上保加康帝年轻许多，而且留有部落的剃发习俗，但英国殖民者与美国印第安人，因为他维持八年和平的真实历史。催生保加康帝传奇，成为世界受欢迎的无数书籍、戏剧和经典电影。